why to play in this position and in all positions in this video. Right, there are five lengthy posting calculation exercises. Can you get any of them? So this is the first one. I encourage you to pause the video and go through the solutions. But you don't have to do that. You just want to look at some nice positions and have a cup of tea at the same time. You can do that. No, it don't matter. So we've been time to pause the video. I've rambled on a little bit. So let's look at the solution to this one. So the first move is to sacrifice the rook and draw the king onto the open h file where we can activate the queen. So that one looks fairly uh, fairly common. And then after king g7, only move, we have a choice of checkmate in positions. Right, there are two lengthy forcing calculations. Here we've got bishop h6 check. We also have queen h6 check. So I remember doing this position about five years ago and looking between these two lines and you could have actually have both of them. I think the one I went with was bishop h6 check, which draws the king to f6. And then after queen h4, again, we bring in the king into the center of the board where we've got a queen, we've got a bishop, we've got these pawns and this bishop as well. So we're going to be able to hopefully get black king into a mating net, which we do with this move. Yeah, queen takes on d4, picking up the knight with check with the queen. All right, and then we might be usefully bringing the queen closer to the king gives the black king limited options rather than taking with the pawn. So the king comes to f5, and there are two checkmates here. You can bring g4 on the board with checkmate, which I really like, or you can play queen f4 checkmate, both the same thing. Although aesthetically, I just like this move myself. I don't know about you. Uh, the other line is leading instead with the bishop, leading with the queen. Totally different line. We get king f6, queen h4 check, back to g7, bishop comes into h6 check, king goes into the corner, and bang, we make like that. So that was the first position. Let's look at the second one. Hopefully, yes, this is at the start. Fantastic. Same thing again. White to play in this position, and in all positions. It's white to play. I just did a video a couple of weeks ago when I said white to play, and about four or five people thought I said black to play. Quite bizarre, but never mind. It's definitely white to play in this position, and in all positions. So can you spot this one? So pause the video. If you don't want to pause the video, I'm going now. This is the solution. So I think this first move was fairly common, probably fairly, fairly obvious because we bring in the king into an obvious pattern with the rook on h4. So that's fairly doable, as is this move. But the next move coming up, I think is more trickier. It's a much more trickier move. And well done if you found this idea. Bishop c1 check, sacrificing the rook. Right, and it should also be noted, of course, that black has got a checkmate in threat. So you know there's no quiet moves in the position. You have to be forcing moves. You have to be sacrifices or checks in the position. So after this move, we have rook f4, and we'll be able to deliver a checkmate with these three pieces and these two pawns. So even if you didn't sort of see the moves and the exact sequences from this position, I think you could look at it from a logical point of view. We're thinking, well, if I can get this position on the board, I should be able to deliver a checkmate, you know, eventually with these pieces and combinations. But in a real game, would you sacrifice the queen if you didn't see right to the end of the line? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Put your, comment, put your comments in the comment section. Anyway, let's look. There were three really nice bus checkmaking endings from this position. We'll start with the uh, first one. So rook f3 check. Throwing the king to h4 and then delivering checkmate like this. We also have this one, rook g4 check, uh, followed by the rook coming to g5. And we have the very, very best one, which I've saved till the end, just to treat you, aren't I nice? Uh, this one, rook e4 check, and the rook protects this pawn quite importantly. Drawing the king to f5. And then what's the finish? G4 again. <laughs> Uh, unbelievably, two positions, uh, uh, checkmate in positions put together with G4 checkmate on the board. But well, let's go ahead. This one is the hardest. All right, this is the hardest of the five. So have a go at this one if you're brave enough, because this is a tough one, a real, real tough one. We are doubt probably the hardest of the five. Or well, you might disagree. Let me know if you disagree. So I'll give you time to pause the video. So what is the first move? Well, the same idea, really, of sacrificing the rook and bringing the queen in as in the first puzzle. Right, when we did the same thing, we sight the rook, we brought the queen into play, which is better at checkmate in the king than the rook, obviously. But in this position, it is on the back rank rather than on the h file. It's the same principle. And now h6. I remember looking at this puzzle about five years ago, 
And I think in that position, after this, I looked at this move. Right, it was five years, about five, six years ago now, so I can't remember. I think I played this idea, but that stops after the rug just blocks, and then you have to find this move, you know, knight g4, which eventually I did, I think. Uh, join the king to h5, and this move is a fantastic idea, right? And you have to be able to see the final position to realize how nice knight takes f6 is, because what it does, it draws the king back. We have uh, the knight coming to g4 again, and then we have this, right, which obviously. We couldn't really do before in that position and that finishes the deal position four is also good they're all good i'm not going to pick bad puzzles am i obviously <laughs> but this is a really good one i really like this one it's a puzzle i've seen in a lot of different puzzle books actually it's quite a, a common one so if you you might even recognize this one so the idea behind this one then if you want to pause now i'm going to show solution right now is rook takes and drawing the bishop in let me just turn those arrows off really annoying and the idea is bringing the rook to c4, the queen to c4, sorry, uh, with check. And if the king tries to hold on, if black tries to hold on to the bishop, now we have uh, a forced sequence of checkmates. After this move, and if we take it on, then we, when we can start with knight e5, drawing the king. This is a great move, covering this square, and the bishop covers these squares. So we draw the king again towards the pawns is the idea. Obviously, black doesn't have to do that. You could argue in this position. You just do this, but then, you know, white's better. Two pieces for the rook, more aggressive position. And, you know, white's still better in this position. For the purposes of the puzzle and the actual calculation exercise, this is a line we're going to look at. And ninety three check. And then this move is probably harder to see because it's a quiet move. Right, king d2. And the idea behind king d2 is we're just going to make next, next move. Black can't do anything. So these, these are often... These little quiet moves are often harder to see. And what I usually do when I try and find these quiet moves is just check that there's no check available and it helps that the white queen, the black queen is on a light square. There are no checks available. If the black queen was here, for example, it wouldn't work because of this. But it isn't, so it doesn't. So on to puzzle number five then in this position. This is a really nice one and it's a beautiful check making, check making sequence at the end of this line. So can you solve this one? All right, so I think the first thing to note again is we have a you know checkmate sequence here. So we have the threat of checkmate. So white just can't pick this rook up at all. So you just lose. So instead, I think this move's quite easy to see because it's the only real like proper check in the position that's not like ludicrous, like just giving up the bishop or something like that. Or you know, you're not gonna play a move like this, it just instantly loses the queen. So this is the most logical continuation. And if we have this move. Right, then we go into the full se sequence of uh, checkmates, which is really, really nice. But black could do this, which in case we just pick up the rook. And white's got a superior position. We block with the rook instead. There's a full sequence like so, which is slightly easier to see. But after king h7, this move, opening up the h file, right, for the rooks is the idea. And it's the whole idea of behind this attack which is a little bit like the first puzzle, and we can use the open H file to checkmate the Black King, which is what we do in this puzzle. So the next move, you know, we move the bishop out of the way in order to bring the rooks to the H file. Very logical. And we just bring the rooks to the H file, and that's it. 